Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick 9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about The Addams Family, the original 1960s television show. I'm so happy that all of you can join me today. Thanks to all of you who have been subscribing, liking, and commenting in my videos. It really does mean a lot. Now today, as I mentioned, we're going to be focusing on The Addams Family. I'm going to stress family because I think We've done a little bit of a disservice by not really looking at some of these Adams family members that maybe we should look at. And this is one that I think you're going to absolutely love. So if you're a fan of the show, you will know how quirky and weird these Adams family members are. And they're fantastic. The ones that we know about, of course, I have them on screen right now. Those are the usual bunch, but we know there's so many that are involved as well as Cousin It and many other cousins, grandparents, and so many different people. But the one I want to focus on, we see throughout the course of the Adams Family episodes, and we don't really know this individual's name. Now, you may not even think of this as an individual, but he's up there. Well, at least part of them is up there that is in the Adams family living room coming out of the mouth of a swordfish believe it or not all we see of this Adams family member is the uh, basically to the knee down we see the foot the leg coming out of the swordfish mounted on the wall which is a hilarious image something that's never really been seen before in another television show and it's so iconic it's even seen in the following Adams family movie movies and TV shows and so forth. Now this individual, which I'll name in just a little bit, was nearly consumed by the swordfish that I mentioned and the story goes that he was trying to catch a rare eel. Now what's really comical and they never point this out, you have to quickly look when they actually focus on the actual figure itself, is that the leg is sometimes dressed in a pant leg and sometimes in a boat shoe sometimes in a flipper kind of different outfits and we could dissect that all we want and say maybe they hang up or they hang up three different types of legs and three dip or they just dress them up every once in a while in different outfits maybe even daily which is something really hilarious to think about now whose leg was this this was yes a cousin of of morticia and gomez and his name was cousin farouk Yes, Farouk, I think, oh my goodness, it's just so funny to think about the life and just the world that the Adams Family has created with just so many family members that we sometimes brush off, but it brings a lot of reality to the show. Now, going to Uncle Fester, he identified a similar looking leg, wearing a swim fin, mounted in a swordfish head as well, hanging in Farouk's spot on the living room wall as Cousin Squint. Now, when his pen pal Madeline asked about it in an episode. And Gomez, contrarily, identifies a similar leg in a darker swordfish as cousin Ahab. Now, that's really cool, of course, Ahab, the whale, and so forth. But when we think about it, the swordfish is a lot darker in that one. And it's just interesting to think that maybe it's another swordfish with another leg. And it makes sense, cousin Squid. Cousin Ahab and now Cousin Farouk. There are three different individuals who a similar type thing happened. That's pretty funny. I've been showing you a lot of images of Cousin Farouk in different episodes, but I want to let you know that he actually appears, this image appears in 14 episodes of The Addams Family. Now go through them right here with different images with just different comedic levels of people quote unquote intruders, some are intruders and some are guests that are invited to the house and freak out when they see this mounted swordfish, which in itself is a little bit jarring, but then seeing a leg hanging out of it. And remember, we see it as a mannequin leg, but in the universe, that's a real human leg. And so that freaks people out. In the first very pilot episode, the Adams family goes to school. Then in Fester's punctured romance, followed by green eyed Gomez, Morticia, the matchmaker, Art and the Adams family, then the Adams family meets a beatnik, Lurch and his harpsichord. This is a favorite of many people's, of course. Next, the Adams family and the spaceman, one that I absolutely love, and that one has the swim fin, Morticia's favorite charity, Cousin It and the vocational counselor. 
than Morticia's Romance in the part two of that two-parter episode. Uncle Fesser Tycoon. This is the one where, of course, Gomez hits the leg with a croquet shot, which is great. Then Morticia and Gomez versus Fesser and Grandmama when they're playing ring toss. And finally, the Adams policy. So it does make many appearances as well in subsequent new Adams Family TV shows, which I won't go through. But hopefully you enjoyed this, guys and gals, looking at another family member, lesser known family member of the Adams Family. Now you can tell everyone about Cousin Farouk and the meaning of why he was there, what he tried to do, and the reasoning behind it. Thank you so much as always guys and gals for the support, for the love. We'll see you next time if you want to see more Adams Family videos just like this. Maybe I can touch upon other family members. I'd love to do it. We'll see you next time and don't forget, be hopeful. Thank you so much to all my supporters on Patreon, especially my diamond tier patrons. Tommy G, Citizen Kane 359, Grace U, Sally N, David D, and Ricky. You can find exclusive content on Patreon at different tiers. Go ahead and check it out and thank you so much.